I saw Brett Victor's Inventing on Principle video and thought, wow, I want those tools. I couldn't find them, so I built my own version for Python. To try it yourself, visit donkirkby.github.com. I'll start with a trivial chunk of code, where I assign a variable, and then I modify it. Now, that's easy to step through in your head and see that S is now hello world. But why do I have to do it in my head when the computer could do it for me? I can add a special comment to show the live coding display on the left, and another one to set it to a fixed width. Let's do something more interesting and write a library function that does binary search for a value in a sorted array. It's a bad search function that never finds anything, but let's see how it works when we call it. You can see the input parameters at the start of the function and the return value at the end. We'll start looking for the value in the array and the first place to look is the middle item. That was lucky. It was in the first place we looked, and you can see the calculations as it goes. You see an abstract formula in the code, like high equals length of a minus one, and you see the concrete result in the live coding display on the left, like high equals two. However, a search function won't usually find the item we're looking for on the first try. Let's ask for an item earlier in the list, and use a while loop to find it. The loop runs twice, and each run adds a column to the display showing the calculations. Now let's look for an item later in the list. Oops. I get an index error. Without the live coding display, I would just get a traceback that shows where the error happened, but not how it happened. Now I can walk back from the error to see where things went wrong. Mid is the index value, and it's calculated at the top of the loop. The two values that go into it, low and high, are both 2, so the average should be 2. Ah, I need parentheses to calculate the average. What happens if we try to find a value that's not in the list?
I guess that while true wasn't such a good idea. We're stuck in an infinite loop. If you want to see some of the later loop runs, you can add another special comment. From the third run on, the values in the loop don't change, so we probably want to exit from the second or third run. If you look at the end of the second run, you see that high is lower than low. That means that we've searched all the way from both ends to meet in the middle, and it's time to give up. At this point, I think I'm done. I can add a few more entries and search for them. Also, if this were a real library module, I wouldn't want to execute a call at the end of the line, at the end of the file. So I use a slight tweak on a standard library pattern to only run it when it's in live coding mode. Remember, you can try this tool yourself by going to donkirkby.github.com. Help me test it and report your bugs. I'd also love to hear about any other projects that are working on the same kinds of tools.